Good morning. How are you today? Well, where I am, walking through fields, the roads are just sheer uh, sheets of ice. Uh, you can hear my footsteps. Uh, I'm walking through. <laughs> I'm walking through ice. So if I get distracted because I don't want to fall, uh, you'll understand. But well, on the hill, I, I like the way Raskin came up to the hill last evening and spoke about the impeachment. He's a he's a quality lawyer, former constitutional professor. Uh, he may still be teaching lectures for all I know. And uh, he's played an active role in drafting the uh, resolution for impeachment. And I've been impressed generally with his team. Uh, as you might guess, I might approach this more aggressively. Uh, but this this is a group that has the potential to address this as aggressive as any former prosecutor might. So I'm hopeful. I'm uh, distressed somewhat, mentioned it, that uh, instead of having the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court preside, we have a situation in which they want the President Pro Tem, Leahy, to preside. Now let me roll this back a little bit. I believe the fact that Trump was president when impeached, plus the fact that we are concerned about him holding public office is sufficient and, and good legal foundation to uh, have the Constitution be read that the Chief Justice is required to be there. Now, in the absence of a Chief Justice, the logical next person to preside is the Vice President. That is Kamala Harris. Now, I suppose some think that would look like it was too biased. But the problem with Leahy, it's not his competence or his allegiance. It is that he's also a Democrat. And uh, by presiding, we lose his, void, his vote in the trial. So I find that a little distressing. I found yesterday a number of, uh, uh, well, <laughs> trolls came online to contradict my point of view, which makes me think even more strongly <laughs> that I'm right. If these guys are against you, then, then you must be doing something right. The, the other things that are on my mind are that the Senate has now finally passed control to the uh, the Democrats. The sticking issue, as you know, was whether or not on certain votes there could be uh, a, a supermajority required. And the reason that we Democrats want to be able to not have this requirement is because otherwise we'll be paralyzed on some important issues, including perhaps the stimulus package that Biden has put together and sent up to the Hill, but also environmental concerns. Now, Biden didn't concede the point, but two Democratic senators said they will never agree to change that supermajority requirement. So uh, that's when basically the outgoing majority leader, McConnell, said, OK, and then we've organized the, the Senate accordingly. That part is good. But one of those two senators is uh, the former Governor Manchin. And he's a Democrat, but he's kind of a Democrat in name only. And when it comes to the environment, he's absolutely terrible. He's going to uh, be the chair of the Energy Committee, so he's going to have a lot to say about it. Now, I've attended a variety of environmental conferences and seminars and I've been with Manchin when he's discussed how he looks at, say, clean air and clean water. And the way he does it is he gets up and he says, you know, I'm for clean air. Okay, so you sit there wondering. But he and the whole industry of the polluters, uh, what, they are, what they're saying is, I'm for clean air, but not if it costs too much. <laughs> and so they are prepared to shift the cost against them paying it to you in terms of 
uh, what you might suffer in terms of your health, your lungs, cancer, all of these things. Same is true with water, same is true with anything else. Now, Biden has a strong package he's putting together for the Hill on the environment. And the head of the Energy Committee, a Democrat, is apparently going to be uh, fighting with us. That is, when I say us, us environmentalists, you and I. Because all of you care about the environment, right? <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but it is exciting to see day by day Trump recede the nature of the discussion, at least on the Democratic side, responsible, wonkish, forward-thinking, concerned, responsible, diligent, things that uh, you couldn't get out of, out of Trump, things that we needed for the nation to be governed, for us to deal with the pandemic, the economy, and so forth. So if you're smarter than I am, <laughs> don't go outside today. <laughs> I do this, uh, it's invigorating, it's not always safe, and sometimes I fall, and uh, so far I haven't. <laughs> so uh, be well, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.